if we fulfill our psychological needs, that helps with our well-being, our relationships, our motivation, our performance. We understand that we need to fulfill them in order to have a thriving life. Mm. So what the Swedish research have done in in cooperation with uh, Umeå University, they created a way of looking at this with more detail. So then we can actually measure and understand each and every need separately. And I've been, we've been working very uh, thoroughly this year to, we're, all, we're continuously um, exploring how we can explain it in the most accessible way mm. possible. So I'd like to, uh, to do it now in, in terms of voices. So all of us have these six psychological needs. Unconscious psychological needs is the definition, if you want to be really specific. Mm. So everyone has the need for safety. And why not call it the, the voice of safety? And everyone can just, like, you can even do it now when you're listening. You can just, like, put your hand on your heart, perhaps close your eyes for a second, and just, like, take a deep breath in. Hmm. You stop and just feel like, okay, what does my voice of safety say to me? Mm. It's the it's the voice that wants to have structure, that wants to have predictability, wants to have a procedure. This is how we do it. And for some people, this voice is very strong. For some, it's not very strong. And some another voice is the voice of variation. It's the one that's excited, that wants to try new things, meet new people, new experiences not afraid to fail, wants the freedom, the efficiency. You can also listen to that. What does my voice for variation, for me, the voice of variation is very strong. So freedom and trying new things is very important to me. And then we have the the voice of development. That's the curious voice that wants to learn, that wants to move forward, one likes results and goals. What does this lead to? Wants to have a plan, wants to feel competent. And you can feel like, okay, how is that voice speaking to me? Is that the strongest voice for me? And then we have the voice for significance. That's the voice that tells you, you find a way to be unique. Find a way to be the best. Looking for perfection, for detail. The specialist. The ones who will not let go of um, a mistype, a typo. Will find the details and make it perfect. Make the like the the sparkling like (laughs) make it perfect and then we have the need for contribution which is very strong for me which is like i look at the big picture if i look at something i zoom out how does what we do here affect the the world outside how do the pieces fit together and also zoom in between the details and the big picture it is like it wants to feel that it has a purpose a mission Everything's happened for a reason. You often hear people with a lot of strong need for contribution. They really believe that. Mm. And then we have the need for, finally, the sixth need for uh, affinity, which is about creating relationships, creating deep connection, emotional connection with people, who's taking responsibility for other people. If you look, I think about sometimes with the flashlight, you have the flashlight towards other people. How are they doing? You will even take care of their well-being before your, before your own. And we all have them in different strengths and we relate to them in different ways. And that's what I help people explore. Mm. And with that, they can kind of align themselves. Because if you think about it, we put a lot, oftentimes we put a lot of focus on the conscious mind, but that's just the fraction of everything that we are, everything that affects our decisions. So looking into the subconscious, what, we, what is not always clear to us, looking under the surface, we can learn so much about uh, ourselves. And this is one way we can do this with precision to make sure that we have the subconscious working in alignment with us and not against mm. us. Yeah. So we don't make decisions in resistance with our subconscious because mm. that's going to create resistance within us. Mm. 